Alright guys, welcome back to some more Trauma Team. Sorry my video cut off the last bit of the last video, but I tried to get what I could, so sorry about that. Anyway, looks like Gabe goes all the way down here, all the way down there, so it's going to be Walto's next one. In the meantime, looks like we got... Naomi Kimishima next. Now that's gonna be another long segment for this one. You can already feel it. Well, let's go. And why was I called here? How should I know? I was just ordered to bring you. It's been a while since I was last at an FBI office. If anything happens to me, I'll make sure they know about you. Uh, oh, Dr. Kimishima! Crime of passion. You won't accept? No matter what? I refuse. I'm a doctor, not one of your little agents. You're a master surgeon who can't operate anymore. I wish I didn't have to resort to threats, Miss Kimishima. Let me remind you that you are only free on plea bargain. Uh. You still suffer from the disease you gave yourself. You don't have that many cards left to play at this point. The affected areas that were inoculated have been extracted. But, please don't forget. The genes imprinted in your cells will remain with you. I'll come up with a plan too. Please, stay alive till then. <laughs> I don't have a choice, do I? Let's talk business. Here's the intel. The agency thanks you for your cooperation. Raging bomber. Hey, Naomi. It's me, Gabe. Took you a while. Did you receive the biopsy sample? Yeah, I did. We had a patient here with the same condition. Uh, my bad feelings come true, then. Did the operation go well? Yeah, the patient made it. I called in a special oh, was Naomi. I see. And the cause of it all? Could it be an epidemic? It was Naomi. I knew it. I can't say. Like you, I'm getting a bad feeling here. Anyways, try and get over here as soon as possible. Well, alright. You're Dr. Kimishima of CIFM, right? I'm with the gossip. I hear you're helping the FBI with some difficult cases. I'm not involved. Come on, don't be like that. Is it true you can hear the dead? Why were you at the FBI today? Is it about the bombings? And what a mess. The, the media doesn't know what discretion is. Indeed. It's as if they revel in the deaths of innocents. Dr. Kimishima, the corpse has arrived. What's with those clothes? Oh, uh, there's some camera crews outside, so I, uh... Huh? Uh, Dr. Kimishima, hey, hey, wait up! Mysterious raging bomber, the focus oh, of the we was vibrating. When people die, they become things. But that's all he said.
The voice. He was cut off. Didn't he even have a chance to see his death coming? A death like this must leave you unsatisfied. All right. I'll find the malice lurking in the dark. Aiden Posner. Huh. You're late, little guy. Hurry up and get ready. But... You're the one who left me behind. That's because of your foolishness. Tell me the facts. All right. The case this time is the series of bombings lately. I gathered this is about the raging bomber, correct? Yes, he calls his victims first and has killed three so far. A politician, an entertainer, and now an athlete. I see. And there are no clues? No wonder the FBI is panicking. Ouch. That's harsh. But I can't argue against it. This body is the former Aiden Posner, a tennis player. Since the First Lady is coming to Portland in a few days, we need this case solved ASAP. So this isn't for the people who live here? <laughs> How noble. It's not like that. It's in everyone's best interest. Huh. In any event, God what damn do it, my sound just case? went out. Are you serious? We have items left at the scene and his manager's testimony. We also have a record of the call before the bombing. <sighs> okay, I mean, I'd right. probably restart. I do everything. want sound because I clear. like hearing voices and stuff. It'll I'm just connect it with this video because this is only about seven minutes in. But I will see that you get the farewell you deserve. And now he's cold. Let's begin. Show me how your flame was extinguished. Okay, before I start, I'm gonna end it off here and hopefully connect it with another video. So hopefully it'll seem like a seamless transition, but uh, probably not. Anyway. And... Alright, let's start the autopsy. And begin. Professional tennis player. Find out about this guy. So the body's in the evidence room. Victim's manager, a statement from him. Let's go check out the body. Sounds like a logical start. Okay, let's begin. Whoa, why the hell's my nunchuck guy coming over here? Hold up. <laughs> Gotta reconnect my nunchuck. And it's okay. Alright. Holy crap! What the hell happened to this guy? This wound is likely from the impact of the explosion. That's a good guess, I guess. Studying the pattern of these wounds may help us determine how far the victim was from the explosion. I see something. This piece of metal is lodged in the corpse's body. This is probably because... The explosion blew it there. Right. The force from an explosion can turn almost anything into a deadly projectile. We'll need to look at this later to find out just what it is, though. on the hand has thickened stratum corneum. This indicates repeated application of pressure, friction, or force to this area, a condition commonly known as a callus. If I recall correctly, his occupation was... Tennis player, so he would be gripping something. Ah, yes, he was a tennis player. This means that his dominant hand was... His right hand. Right. This, along with the musculature on the arm, suggests he was right-handed. Anything else good, sir? His hands, too. Is 
that I can get from here. substance on his finger. Oh my god, I missed that. How did I miss that? It's that is kind of weird, though. There. Further research may tell us more. Okay. Good. figure that. We've done a complete background check on her, and her home has been searched thoroughly. Based on that, I'd say that we can trust her testimony. Is that so? So, is the bomber a magician, then? Huh. According to the manager's testimony, the victim's security was perfect. How did this so-called revolutionary plant the bomb in his house, arm it, and time the explosion perfectly to kill the victim? Good question. The, 
only thing we can say about this bomber is that the victims were killed by bombs. Give this man, like, an award or something. He's a freaking genius. Let's continue investigating then. It's my job to solve cases like this. Unknown method. You mean the recording the bomb threat, right? Pretty hot tomato. Lunatic. He disgusts me. Well, this murderer is just a game to him. Sick bastard. Well, it's not like we're ones to talk. Have you forgotten our promise, little guy? Oh, right. I'm no talking about the past. Sorry. So, was the voice on the phone processed at all? We've run a spectrographic analysis on the voice from the recording. It doesn't look like there's any audio manipulation being applied to the voice. Cocky bastard. I see. So that's the revolutionary's real voice, is it? If that's true, then we can tell that he's... Male. A young man. That was a young man's voice. He also gave us an advance notice of the next bombing. He said that his next target would be... A Caucasian man. The nation of Japan. Hold on, hold on. That's like a Hiroshima reference or something. That's that's not cool. White male target. That's right. A Caucasian male. That's a little vague. No kidding. We're doing what we can to narrow down possible targets. Oh, good. We don't want any more deaths from this maniac's hands. Substance on little finger. What's this substance, little guy? Um, give me a moment. I'd assume it's something that was carbonized by the blast. Huh. No, wait. What's the matter? Well, this isn't soot or a remnant of something that had been burned. Then what is it? Uh, if I were to make a decision based on what I see here, it's carbon dust. Carbon dust? Why would something like that be on the victim? Uh, I thought you'd ask that, but, well, I don't have a clue. Tell me why they hired you again. <laughs> hey, people don't just run into carbon dust in their daily lives. Using it as a component in a bomb is unusual, too. Honestly, I just don't know. <sighs> oh, well. Let's just keep this fact in mind for later, then. Carbon dust? Metal. Hey, little guy. I need something looked at. Okay. This. It's a piece of steel pipe. You can find this anywhere. What do you need me to check? It was lodged in Aiden's corpse, probably propelled by the blast. I see. I'll perform a chromatographic scan on it then. Please do. This. Have you found anything out? There's black powder on it. It was probably used as the propellant in the explosion. Hmm. I see. If that's the case, then that piece of metal is... Shrapnel from the bomb. Mislabeled pepper shaker. <laughs> yes. 
It's most likely part of the bomb that killed the victim. Black powder and a steel pipe. We're one step closer to finding out how this bomb was made. Laceration of the corpse. Can I bother you, little guy? I want to know more about these wounds. Sure. The wounds spread in a radial pattern. Looking at the angles, it seems that they're centered on the abdomen. Hmm. In an explosion, the shockwave travels in a sphere from the point of origin. Of course, parts of the bomb and the surrounding materials are caught up in the shockwave. The wounds on the body indicate this radial pattern. If the bomb did in fact cause these wounds, the bomb must have been... Within a meter? Hmm, yes. It would have been very close, within a meter of the victim. In other words, the bomb was right in front of the victim when it went off. Yikes. I'd never want that to happen to me. Close range explosion, carbon dust. Fair enough. White male target to unknown method. No. I think that's it. Has arrived. Another one? What are you talking about? The newest victim. There was another bombing. The raging bomber again? Yes, apparently. The corpse is in the autopsy room. Please investigate it when you have time. All right. I'll look at it right away. Wow. That was literally like 10 minutes, dude. The fourth one. How many more will there be by the time this is all over? Phone call. On my legal. Hmm. I can't hear anything. So he died before he was able to say anything about his death. Well, that's unfortunate. has obvious lacerations and burns caused by the explosion. These wounds look very similar to the ones found on Aiden's corp. Indeed. This requires further investigation. See a carbon dust in his hand as well. Yes, he does. Hmm. There's something on the fingertip. I've seen this somewhere before. Now, where was that? Uh... On the little finger. Yes, I noticed this on the third victim, Aiden Posner, as well. There's something a little different about this, though. It's... On the left hand. Physical location. Yes, Aiden had it on a different part of his hand. The substance on Aiden's hand was... On the right little finger. Oh my god. Why are these questions getting tougher? If I didn't pay attention, I actually wouldn't get that. That's right. It was on the little finger of his right hand. I should have these compared to see if they're the same substance. I'm listening. Let's see. The victim is Stephen Eldred. He's 20 years old and is a student at a local college. 
and a Caucasian male, as in the bomber's warning. Yes, but we still don't know if this is the revolutionaries doing or not. Well, finding out shouldn't make us any happier. It's another life lost. Right, right. This might sound a little morbid, but we got lucky with this explosion. It didn't cause any fires or structural damage, so the crime scene is more or less intact. This gives us a better opportunity to find out who did it, no matter who it was. Huh, that's true. The more information we can get, the better. Investigating the crime scene in the corpse may help us progress in the investigation. Right. I've sent all the information we have right now to your computer. I'll have HQ get us a recording of the original bomb threat, too. Please do. I'm going to continue investigating. This was found on the fourth victim's corpse. Can you see if this is the same substance that was found on Aiden's hand? Sure, it'll just take a moment. This is carbon dust too, there's no mistaking it. Carbon dust, carbon dust. I thought as much, but why would they both have carbon dust on them? Can we combine them? Huh, yes, these two can be put together. They both have carbon dust on their fingertips, but there's something quite different between the two of them. That is... Uh, it's on different hands. Yes. The substance was on Aiden's right hand, but on Stephen's left. So many similarities and one difference. This bothers me. Maybe Stephen was left-handed. I need these wounds analyzed, little guy. Okay, let's see. Radially expanding wounds. It's very similar to Aiden's injuries, though the explosion itself seems a little smaller. Hmm. If the wounds are the same shape, the reason why should be obvious. These wounds can tell us that... Very close range. I didn't read what she asked, I just kind of did it. Yes, this victim was killed by a close range explosion as well. At first glance, it looks like the same method was used. I should compare the two to learn more. I will do that. Hmm, yes. These two can be put mm, together. Yes. Aiden Posner and Stephen Eldred. The conditions of both explosions were the same, and both explosions were about the same strength. There's a good chance that these two deaths were caused by the same person after all. How's he doing it, though? Hey, little guy, there's something I want to ask you. Yes? What is it? Did you know the victim at all before the bombing? Huh? No, I've never seen him before. I thought so. That makes this a little odd. Odd how? The revolutionary did give advance notice about his next target. Still, the victim this time is obviously different from his previous ones. He's a low-profile person. What's different about him? It's... He isn't famous. That's it. A politician, a celebrity, and an athlete. All the other victims up until now were in the public eye. This bombing killed an ordinary college student with no notoriety at all. That's true now that you mention it. Perhaps this was a copycat crime after all. Or perhaps. Has the raging bomber changed his modus operandi? might be wrong to assume that. Maybe the reasoning behind his previous victims wasn't that they were famous. Hmm. In any case, we have to continue investigating. Keep finding out whatever you can. Let me know if you learn anything. Understood. I'll do that. Okay, there's that. I think I'm going to save here, and I think I'm going to continue on in the next episode of Let's Play Trauma Team. Saved. Next episode, we'll go check out the crime scene, and we'll get more information and hopefully catch this raging bomber. So thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Trauma Team. 
See ya.